Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about rank functions, one of the very important concepts in Tableau. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So to discuss this uh, now functions in Tableau, I've created a file with the following entries. Okay, so if you see, I've not sorted it purposely. Okay, so that is the intention. Before we actually discuss uh, about rank, okay, so I, we also need to know what is difference between index and rank, okay? So these two are very confusing uh, thing in real time and often uh, this is one of the most commonly asked interview question. So please pay attention to this. Index is simply, you know, generating a row number per the dimension that you have taken okay so it will generate a row number irrespective of what is the whatever is the sorting order so if your measure is in sorted order it will give you, you know rank uh, numbers at a, accordingly or ir even though if it is not sorted it will give you the same number okay so it is not dependent on the value of measure but instead it is dependent on the number of rows so just to show you that I'm just writing here as index and uh, I'm just removing this. And to make it easier, I'm writing here as it will, uh, just commenting, will generate row number. Okay, and I'm just clicking okay and I'm just adding it here, right next to this and making it discrete. Now see here, even though my measure is not sorted, it is giving me numbers. So there are eight entries in our uh, data here as of now. Now let us add rank function. So I'm starting and giving it as a rank. So if I expand this to see what are the supported rank function, I can search for this and if you see, there are five types of rank functions okay so let us start with the basic one i'm starting with the rank and first thing is we need to specify the dimension sorry measure that we are using and followed by what is the order in which you want to rank them so i'm giving descending order and let us see the results now okay so Maybe just giving like this. I can write okay, and I'm clicking on apply. And let us add this also right next to this and discrete. Click OK. Now, if you observe the rank here, I'm just putting it right next to our salary 5000 because we have sorted in descending order. 5000 has got one rank okay because there are two entries it is giving the same rank but now after 5000 what is the next number we have we have 4000 so but we have already named 5000 two times so next it is giving three rank three which means two it is eliminating because we have already repeated five two times so instead of two it is giving three likewise now after three we have four, which is 3000. Next is five, which is 2000. Next is six, which is this one. So no, like that it is working. Now if I try to give it in terms of ascending order, the number will be reversed. Now the topmost salary has the highest rank. 5000 has seven rank here. Okay, 1000 has got one rank. But if you see here, 1000 is repeating three times. So one, two, and three, this one. So one, one, one. So actually it is displaying one, but internally it is counting one, two, and three. So the next number will be four. See for 2000, it is giving four. Okay, so that is the difference it will give. So you need to remember how the ranks are generating here. I'll keep it like this only, and we are going to just, okay, let us, let us duplicate this. And I'm going to edit this and we will call this as 
dense rank okay and here instead of rank i'm going to use dense rank so everything will remain same only the function will change whatever we are using inside and you will need to observe how they are generating the rank here now observe how rank is generating dense rank is generating here so for 5000 it is giving us five rank of 5 okay next is 4000 it is giving 4 which means the number is continuing here okay 1000 we are getting one rank okay 2000 we are getting two rank okay and so here difference between rank and dense rank is even though the number is being repeated multiple times now here the actual rank is not being skipped so for each rank see every number is there here one two three four five whereas here you see it is skipping the number that's why we are getting the ranks till seven okay so that is how dense rank is working so whenever you have multiple entries what is happening after that that is the behavior that we need to remember based on that only ranks are categorized so you can highlight this point and you can remember based so how rank will behave when we have same value repeating based on that only ranks are categorized okay so rank will skip the next number based on number of entries and it will give you whereas dense rank will not skip okay so click on apply okay now again i'm creating or duplicating this and this time i'm using rank modified function here click on apply okay and i'm just okay we need to also i'll also write it here as modified i'll add it on the view remember we are comparing it with the respect to ascending order if at all you are putting your views in descending order you can just follow the same so just to make it sure i'm just following it now see here number of ranks and the value here so one we do not have actually one there is no entry so ascending means what for thousand how many entries we have we have three entries one two and three so here if you observe it is giving three which means the last number of the actual entry so one two and three the same here observe so three number it is giving for the rank okay next 2000 is not repeating so you got fourth rank perfect next is 3000 okay so then you will get you know the actual number three four five we got next is 4000 you got same number next is 5000 which is repeating two times means after six how many we have one will become seven and another one will become eight. So you are getting eight. So which means it is taking the highest number whenever, highest row number whenever we, we have multiple entries. So that is the rank modified. So dense rank will give you continuation of number even though it is repeating, whereas rank modified will give you next number based on number of entries. So if it is returning three, it will take three number it, if it is returning four it, then it will take four like that okay so again we can sort it here to make it even you know maybe easy now see here i sorted it with respect to ascending order so our rank function is giving one 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 then after that see one two three but it is giving fourth number then five six seven seven like that it is working so how is it giving the next rank in rank function in rank dense you see even though it is repeating it is giving the still it is giving the second rank in rank modified you see 
it is repeating three times so you got third then fourth then fifth then sixth and then again 5000 is repeating two times so six plus two is eight that is how this rank modified is working okay so next again we'll see another type of rank function i'm just going to duplicate edit it and uh, what, else, what else is repeating here i think rank unique is there so i'll just we'll write it as rank unique click on and i'll just rename this as rank unique so this is a very interesting you know interview question if you are mostly this type of questions are asked in level two of discussion okay so i'll just uh, make it discrete and i'll just put it right next to this okay now observe here this is rank unique even though the ranks are repeating here it is giving you the number here so actually it is in sync with the index number here no matter how many times it is repeating it is giving you one two three and then four five six it is giving it will follow the order of salary in ascending or descending but even though the numbers are repeating here it will not skip it will just continue the number and it will give you unique the name itself will tell that it will give you unique record next is rank percentile rank percentile means it will give as the value in percentile that is the differential okay so let us duplicate and i'm just making editing it and i'll write it as percentile and uh, here also i'm just writing it as percentile apply okay so the results you will see is in percentage terms and that will be in between 0 and 1 here. So I'm just putting it here. This is how it is giving us the rank. So 5000 is maximum, right? So that is why it is giving us the, you know, the highest rank 1. But rest of them, it is trying to split here. So 1000, it is the minimum. So it is for everything you see, it is giving same number here. Three times it is repeating. Next is 2000, so it is giving 42. Next is 5,000 and then 7, 5, 7. So basically, it is dividing your 0 to 1 into number of parts here. And based on that, it will give trying to give you percentage of your value. Okay. So I hope this clears your you know, rank function confusion and index thing. And that's it from my side. In this video, I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please do not forget to comment this. And see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.